New Orleans Police Superintendent Michael Harrison says quick action by the police and a manhunt for Travis Boys ended with his arrest early Sunday morning. Harrison says Boys was spotted boarding a bus off St. Claude Avenue in the Lower Ninth Ward by a new officer and his training instructor before he was arrested. Because of good police work and their tenacity, they were able uh, to get to to give chase to him and he tried to flee, uh, but he was not able to maneuver and escape officers a second time. Detectives found two guns in Holloway's police cruiser, a 38 caliber revolver, which was believed to have been used in the battery of a female victim for which Boys was initially arrested. The second weapon is a 40 caliber pistol believed to be the weapon used in the crime. How Boys was able to get to the guns is still not known, but Officer Holloway's service weapon was still in his holster. They lost a brother yesterday, somebody who was doing his job, somebody that every day when he got up knew that he was laying his life on the line to protect the citizens of the city of New Orleans. The bus stop behind me is where officers first spotted boys and after a very short foot chase he was arrested by police at a home nearby. Those who live in the area say this arrest is a sigh of relief after such a large search for a dangerous man. He needs to stay off the street for the rest of his time of his eyesight, man. You know, because he had no, he had, he had no justification in him, bro, for life. Yeah, could could came in my house or in my backyard or something, you know. A friend of mine lives here. His dog was swimming in the pool, right, right back there, and they just swimming in the pool. Mm -hmm. Could came back there and hurt them or broke his house or something. Mm. The fate of boys will come down now to the judicial process, while a family has to heal on Father's Day.